it is important that we, we understand what is the var char. In this case, here we have var char is just a way of putting a string uh, or, or characters. And when I put there like 20, it means that I cannot have more than 20 characters. I don't know, maybe we have some names with more than 20 characters. Um, for a first name or a last name. So you can actually specify how many characters you want in the var char. Uh, he is saying allow nulls. Um, that pretty much I want it in all the in information for students. So I don't want to allow that to be null. Something else that I may have here, I could have I could have address, I could have telephone, I could have many things. I'm not gonna put that here. I'm just gonna put gender at this point, which will be a var char as well. Uh, but it's just gonna have one character, M or F. So here it is. Oh, sorry, I don't want to put that the number. And that also I don't want it to be null. And I have uh, GPA. Every student will probably have a GPA. For this one, I'm gonna put a float. And I will actually allow null because when we want to add this student, maybe it's the first time they're going to that school or. Or not to that school the first time they're going to school at all and and they don't have a GPA yet so if they don't have a GPA I just want to leave it blank so I'm gonna allow no for that one one thing I want to do here now is in this field here in the student ID which is the primary key uh, I wanted the I wanted that to be automated or to be the numbers to be put automatically so if I come here to identity C Sorry. If I come here to identity C, okay. Um, I just do here to yes. First of all, I had to, to press the plus button. So yes, okay. And now the C. Let's let's make that to be a, a thousand, and the increment is going to be one. It means that every time I add a student, the first student is going to be, the, the ID is going to be 1,000 and all the others are going to be incremented by one. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and let me just check everything is okay. Yeah, everything's okay. So I can just go ahead and save it. In the future, we're going to have a problem here whenever we start to work with constraints. At this point, I uh, just wanted to know how we create those tables. And when we start having the problems, I'm going to give you a second way of doing and avoiding those problems. Uh, let's create the other table. Let's create the subject table. How I want to do that is just here, come to tables, do a new table. It's going to pop that up. So I'm going to put here, I could put class, but when we start working with link to SQL, you're going to see that link make the tables actually as objects. And if I name an object class, I could have some conflicts with the class object in API of C sharp. So I'm got I'm gonna name that something different. I'm gonna name it subject. So here it is subject. Uh, here I'm gonna have a subject ID which is gonna be an int. I'm gonna have a uh, subject subject name, which in this case it could be, for example, CS two forty CIT one forty five or whatever. Uh, I'm gonna allow one of our term. I'm gonna allow twenty. I think it's too much, but that's okay. I also want a subject description this one I could allow like about so now I'm actually gonna keep that the 50 and put it here watch our 50 and subject credits how many credits I have for this subject var char oh no I don't want a var char I probably want to float on int 
uh, let's say float because I don't know we can have like 1.5 credit okay subject credits and as I said before we can actually have many many more things in here since we're doing just a basic project let's just keep the way it is I want the subject ID to be primary key so let me do that subject name I don't want it to be no the description I don't want it to be no and the credits I also don't want it to be no I don't want anything here to be no what I want to do I want to set the identity for this one for whatever number and I wanted that to be auto incremented so let me, put it, let me come back here to the specification change it to yes I didn't seed and um, let's put here I put this one for 500 and the incrementation is going to be one so the first class I add is going to be five and the other ones will be adding by one um, after everything is good I'm gonna save this one as well and I want to create another guy another table that will be now the registration table where I can actually get the primary keys for both of those tables and put in a table that I can make a correlation so let me call that one registration Regist registration um, put here registration ID registration ID which is gonna be an int I'm gonna put also a, um, a student ID which will be an int because it's gonna be a form key of the the student table I'm gonna put a subject ID oh, which will also gonna be an int I could possibly also have here uh, grade so what is the grade that was whatever the student got in this registration and that would be a vartar and that will be two because it could be a a minus b plus b b minus so I won't need more than two characters for that and I'm gonna put another one is status which will be uh, let me see we can just use a one character or maybe a whole word let's go for for just one character current and done so so just one that'll be fine those guys could also be their own tables their own objects especially the grade one where you can have multiple grades but in this case let's just put it all here uh, let's set this guy here to primary key uh, student ID I don't want to it can't be no if I have a registration I'm gonna I must have an I uh, I student so so the subject also I it, it can't be no now the grade this one could be no because if it's a current student so then I it's you won't I mean I don't have a grade yet so it can be no now this one is status it can't be no okay now I want to go to registration ID I want to do that I want that to be incremented so here I did specification change to yes what is the seed the seed will be let's put this one to be 100 and I didn't increment to be that one by one so here we are we're done with uh, the tables that we wanted uh, we're gonna as I said we're gonna have some problems when I try to do a couple things here in the future and we're gonna see and we're gonna see how to deal with those one of those solutions that we can deal with it all right so I see you in the next tutorial bye